I have owned this chemistry book since I was a teenager. Over time, I have replicated all the experiments in the book. Except for one, the synthesis of an insecticide, namely lindane, also known as gamma hexachlorocyclohexan. For the synthesis of lindane, benzene is required. Benzene is a toxic substance that can cause both acute and chronic health damage and is carcinogenic. Because the substance is for this reason difficult to purchase, I will synthesize the benzene in this first part. In a 1 liter Ziploc bag, I mixed 100 grams of sodium benzoate and 60 grams of sodium hydroxide. Both substances I have previously finely ground in a mortar. The mixture is poured into a suitable tin can. I use an empty gas cartridge for my lab burner, where I have removed the paint. I drilled out the opening of the gas cartridge to 10 millimeters. After the tin can is filled, a one quarter of an inch brass screw and hose nozzle is screwed into the hole. Teflon tape is used for sealing. After setting up the distillation apparatus, the synthesis of benzene can be started. The distillation lasts about 2 hours. The tin can can also be heated from time to time from the side by means of a second burner. The distillate is an orange-red liquid. It must be further purified. Calcium chloride is used to get rid of the water in the distillate. The calcium chloride is allowed to sit with the crude benzene for a minimum of one hour. To further purify the crude benzene, a water bath distillation is then performed. The temperature of the water bath should be slightly above 80 degrees Celsius, as the boiling point of benzene is 80 degrees Celsius. In the end, the yield is 28 milliliters of benzene. 
The amount obtained roughly corresponds to a yield of 46%. The yield is not particularly high, but more than enough for the synthesis of lindane. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.